She did not. I gotta give it. So you guys got some uh, stuff you talked about. I've got to go with this route. Who is your favorite actor of a character of all the horror times? Hmm. Yeah, that's I said a good call. It. Like, I, you know I what? Favorite, I am going favorite, favorite role, like a favorite character favorite. played by an actor, as opposed to character not played by an actor. Would you smack him? <laughs> I'm a yeah. If I'm gonna go with like a character itself, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with the tall man, because like honestly, like for me, like he was always one of the more. So you're going Angus Scrim? Yes, definitely. Interesting. And I, I'm like sad that I never got to meet him because I met everybody else from the cat, like the movie. So Bannister is a really cool dude. Yeah, he is. He was really high whenever I met him. Knock <laughs> it the hell off, man. So who's yours then? Mine has got to be the man. He's got to be. The best version of this character, in my professional opinion, but it has to be Mr. Jason Voorhees, Kane Hodder. Yeah. I would go out on that limb. Really good dude. Yeah. So I've heard. He'll choke the shit out of you. Swear to Christ. Sweet. He actually movie. signed that mask that you that I chucked across the room. Yeah, there. I know. Like you didn't get it. I didn't do that it. this time. He just kind of fell on his own. Anywho, um, he, he can't handle stuff. it, man. What you got going on? Nice. Um, he definitely is not your kid. No. You know, again, I'm gonna go off the wall because most people don't know this guy, but uh, he's done a ton of roles, and I don't think I there's, know who you're gonna say. There's. Oh, okay. I don't think there's one, there's a role that he's done that I haven't really appreciated, and that... Do you have a figure of him on your mantle? I do. And that is uh, Doug Jones. Yep. Doug Jones, uh, he's done The Pale Man and The Fawn in Pan's Labyrinth. He's done The Creature in The Shape of Water, and he was Abe Sapien in the Hellboy movies. So. Don't forget the Ice Cream Man in Legion. And he was uh, movie sucks. And he was Billy in <laughs> Hocus Pocus. Yeah, his first ah. one. And he's so. from Indiana. And he's from Indianapolis. Indiana native. Whoa, a Hoosier. So. And he liked my Instagram photos. Nobody gives rats. Yeah, What's nobody your favorite? cares about your Instagram. We're not plugging we that are garbage. We name dropping right like here. a mofo up in here. Jesus H. All right. So the director drops a name of someone he actually worked <laughs> with, and it's shut the fuck up. <laughs> Pretty well. Anywho, your character. Oh boy! As you caress your Beavis and Butthead, Jason. Yeah. Freddy and Jason. I mean, uh, I already mentioned uh, Nightmare on the Street. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Christ on a cross. Um, on Sunday. It is not Sunday. It is Wednesday. Yesterday. <laughs> Whatever. Give me I don't know. What I thought mean. it was. What is this? Yeah, it is Wednesday. Um. Christ. Let's see. I mean, where, where do you even start with that one? Um, I really enjoy, <laughs> really enjoy Jeffrey Combs's character. Oh yeah, uh, Doctor Herbert West and Re Reanimator. Oh, drink to that. He's such a, he's such like a desperate character, but he uh, he never stops until he gets, you know, his project done, and he finds ways to justify all of the heinous things that he does but um yeah pretty awesome role and hopefully i get to meet him at a convention some sometime because i heard he's really nice he is and he liked your uh, not name dropping on that one either but he liked your reanimator script i did i met all the guys from reanimator for most barbara cramden we could talk about her for a while why well, you got another category we need to do real quick uh what you know what we touched on remakes but Let's touch on, like, what we would like to see it as a remake. Honestly. Oh, Ooh, I've yeah. thought of this a lot. So, fantasy remake booking? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, like, what would, what would you like to see as a remake? I know one right off the bat. Because, I, I mean, I've got a couple Burp. that I would like to see. Actually, I'll, I'll tell you the first one right off the bat for me. Uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yes. Oh, yeah. like, Thank you. Uh, Somebody this, had to say it. Yeah. No, didn't. Yeah, I would love to see either a sequel to it. Which they have you know, they they talked about. what you feel about Clowns. They've talked right? about a sequel. Yeah, yeah they, they have, so but, like, you know, I, either a remake or a sequel. I've I even heard rumors about a series. Yeah, I heard about that, but I don't, I don't know how long that could it's gonna happen. stretch. I think a movie would be a better way to go. Yeah. 
Marco, you're up. Do you remember what, what the category For, is? Or, uh, <clears throat> it's Tuesday. Uh, it is Wednesday, but, uh, yeah. we'll go ahead and give that to you. So, is the weirdest part of me, because I think we can do it better justice now if we had to do a remake. And maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I'm gonna go with Hellraiser. We could give it a good, honest, justifiable shot right now. They've been talking about doing that as well. Well, they can talk. Uh, Let them talk more, man. I want to see it. Yeah, no. I, I got you on that one. No, you didn't. But I'll go with that. Sticker. Dude. That's disrespectful in the hardest gonna... way. So. So, I'm going to go with... Uh, God, there's a bunch of them that I could think of right offhand. Uh, I would like to see a really good, not TV made remake of Salem's Lot. Ooh, yeah, I like it. I think that they have the ability to do that now with everything given. And I really didn't care for the Rob Lowe. TV movie. I didn't even get that one. Actually. The only thing good Rob Lowe did was he was in uh, Parks and Rec. Wayne's World. Uh, stand. Yeah, my bad. Stand. Class. We well, should have said. <laughs> Just keep drinking. <laughs> yes, sir. That's what you're good at. <laughs> so saucy. Drinking and stinking. That's for damn sure. Anyway, um, but yeah, I think with um, if you've never read the book. I think everybody should give that one a shot. It's one of the the better Stephen King books out. I mean, granted, I haven't made it through all of them, and I know you haven't made it through all of them yet. I've gotten through about 15 now. That's still like know, my second. I don't know if Blaine has ever. Have you I've, read any of the Stephen King? I've books? read a couple. I know Marco doesn't know how to read, so. Um, Silence. He only you know, likes books with pictures. There. Pictures of Anywho, bright colors. Um, wow. But, uh, yeah, the Salem's Lot movies are, I, the first one is great. The second one, not so much. So I think that it can benefit from a remake, but mm -hmm. that's my problem. Um, usually when I think about movies I'd like to see remade, it's a, a movie that, like, wasn't that great, but it had, like, some parts of it that were good. But this time I'm actually going to go with a movie I liked a lot, but I think that uh, a remake now, especially with how crazy things are right now, um, like a modern remake of this would be pretty awesome. And I'll even pick a director. If Jordan Peele would direct a remake of They Live, uh, I think it would be so rad. And I, wow. almost, I almost actually went with Jordan Peele doing The People Under the Stairs, mm. which I think- Doesn't Jordan Peele have uh, Katie Mink? Uh, he's Same producing thing. it. Producing, yeah. Yeah. that's right. Okay. But it still looks awesome. Um, the Candyman remake. So. Tony Todd's not in it though, is he? Uh, I think he might. He got a cameo. A, he might have a cameo, I believe. Um, I, I heard Virginia Madsen was going to be in it too. Nice. So I didn't hear that one. Uh, but yeah, I think. You know who uh, Virginia Madsen is. Yeah, it's a, it's a, that's a lady. Cool. Um, yeah. You yeah. Know who Tony Todd is. Tony's a dude. He is a dude. Mm -hmm. She's a dude too, and, and we're all dudes. Hey, hey. <laughs> but yeah, they live. Hmm. They only live with Roddy Piper, man. So okay, uh, let's since we're on this kick, we're just gonna keep going with categories. Let's go. Favorite favorite death scenes in horror movies. That's a good one. There's a lot of those. Oh, yeah. Uh, like me, good death scene. All right. Blaine, oh. start her out. Uh, I'm right. actually gonna go off the track here because I'm not even like that big of a Friday 13th fan. Oh, come on. But, but they have some of the best deaths. They do. Um, I forgot which one it was, but specifically, he had like a, a harpoon. That was yeah. the third one. Third. Yeah. It goes in the eyeballs. Yeah, no. no. Uh, he went through the mattress. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's still... He, he made well, like a shish kebab out of people, basically. Oh, uh, when they were banging? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. That was like one of their early ones. ones. Yeah. That might have been those... I think it was either the second one. I, I was going to say it's the second one. I was going to say it's the second one. I'm pretty sure it's the second one. pretty far out, yeah. Marco? Yeah. So I'm going to go outside the box here a little bit on a very unpopular you were never in Jason box. movie 
It's called Jason X. Oh, man. I know. There was a crazy death scene in this one. If you know what I'm talking about, then you're going to listen and find out with everybody else. But somebody's head got dunked into liquid nitrogen. Brought up. And kabam. Pinata parts all over the place. I dug it. I like, that one. I like that one, too. Yeah. Um, going back to your cousin, he picked her up, that guy. put her down. Sure that's, did. That's right. It's the only damn good thing he can do, too, the lazy bum. Get a job. Yeah. Wait a minute. Okay. Huh? I think he's talking about... That's not a mirror. No, that's not. All right, well, there's my self-affirmation for today. Carry on. Drink to that. I will. All right. Um... Stuck. Even more? My cap was stuck. Oh, I thought you said you suck. Um, <laughs> Not Kurt Angle, brother. That's true. Favorite death scene. There are so many that come to mind. Um, you know, uh, one that actually is more recent that really it throws me off a little bit. If if you've ever watched, I don't know. I know you have. Blaine, have you ever seen Midsummer? Mm, sure have I. You need to watch that. Is it a show? No, it's a movie. Oh, okay. You've um, seen Hereditary? Yeah, I have. It's made by the same guy. Yeah, it's okay. the same director. It is. It's crazy. If anybody's never watched that movie, I I dare them to watch that <laughs> because it's messed up in the most awesome way possible. But there's a scene where they cliff jump off and uh, one of the guys that Cliff jumps off jumps, hits a rock on the way down, does not die, and they proceed to come in with a giant mallet and smash the guy's head into a thousand pieces. It's pretty great. There's context to why this happens, by the yeah. way, but that's the gist. <laughs> Spoiler alert for all anybody that, who has all, not seen All the backstory is too much so to explain. If you come into the movie expecting something tame, you might as well shut it off after the beginning credits. Um, once well, you see the cliff diving scene. I mean, with that movie, by the five minute mark, you're either in or you're out. That's right. Because <laughs> that starts pretty strong. Yeah. I, I give... That's probably... It's lush. It's my cue. <laughs> Who's driving you home? <laughs> Call him the goober. You're not, you're not staying goober. on this couch even though you've done shit on it. Um, it's okay, it's brown. It matches, yes, yeah, thank you. It goes down. Any, what? If it's brown, flush it down. If it's yellow, Why are we getting off topic? It always goes back to poo. <laughs> but, Midsommar. One of probably the best movies to come out of the last decade, in my opinion. Okay. Um, so, yes, one. Blaine, check, on, check it out. I don't know. I, it's on Amazon Prime. Prime. Actually, if we're uh, mentioning one that's like kind of an unknown, I'm going to shoot this one out here to you. Candy Corn, if you haven't seen it. I have not seen that one. It's actually really good. Did you watch The Lighthouse? Uh, yeah, actually I did. That's a great movie. Yeah. It's kind of messed up, but... A little bit. Just a little bit. Don't watch Dick Shark. Don't watch Dick Shark. Uh, have your favorite death scene, now that we're completely off topic. So GD many. Um, kind of impartial to the uh, giant glass screen that falls on the kid in uh, Final Destination 2. I thought you were going to say Ghost Ship. Yeah, <laughs> Ghost Ship. Yeah, the wire in Ghost Ship. That was pretty rad. That's not yes. a great movie, but that, that scene... I mean, uh, oh. the movie peaks in the first ten minutes. Once that scene's over with, just shut the damn thing off. And Wait. Nightmare on Elm Street for the cockroach. I got one for you. I love that scene. Okay. Um, <laughs> Human Centipede 2. Uh, whenever the bait, uh, whenever oh the God. lady gets away... And that's she, the worst. Uh, <laughs> the come baby's on, head gets stuck under no, the pillow. No, that's just, horrid. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you know yeah. that they you know that they made a version of that movie that's actually in color. Oh, really? With yeah. the diarrhea sprain? No, I've never seen it, but I heard that they made it. I don't oh, know if it's on like a now. special edition DVD. Marco, have you watched that movie? No, I have not. It's you, fucking disgusting. Oh, it's great. I <laughs> you love need it. to. Um, did you watch good. the third one? Oh yes. I, I haven't gotten that far. It had Gangrel. It had the 
the vampiric brother. I heard about effing a stab wound. I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> oh, it's great. They like castrated everybody, and then they made the human uh, caterpillar. You need to castrate the goddamn director. And they caught. They cut off everybody's legs, and then they sewed their mouths to their butts. That's right. Uh, what'd they do with all them legs? I don't know. Who cares? It's not my problem. It's prison jerky. <laughs> you ever watch a Serbian film? Don't. <laughs> in your life. That's all we need to talk Anybody about. Anybody on this, on that end of the screen, don't do it. Ever. Now they're going to. Yeah. Now they have to. Yep. They talk to. about plugging the wrong thing, man. Mm hmm. That's just disgusting. There's another cool death scene in Terrifier when a girl gets uh, saw oh, yeah, half right crotch first. Ho! Oh, pretty sick. She is not a hoe, dude. You, you're not a hoe. Oh, that was gnarly that's, as hell. That's another sequel I'm excited for is the second one. Yeah, they said they plan on making a bunch of those. Not yeah. so, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Honestly. Was her name Dorothy Mantooth? No, it wasn't. She was a nice lady. Another one of my favorite kills is Macaulay Culkin and My Girl. <laughs> Hell yes! Hey, Are we talking strictly horror movies? Now we're going really off the beaten path. <laughs> Did you see Dan Aykroyd in that flick? That's a horror film, man. Alright, so let's go last one before we end this nonsensical oh. horse piss. Um, wow. Language. Got a lot of room to talk. One movie in the horror genre it can be horror comedy anything of that nature that is one that is a personal favorite that not many people would know something that's off off the wall completely one of those that not many people have probably heard about is it horror comedy it could be horror comedy it could be you know actual horror suspense all of that it just falls into the horror uh category what about it Dude, I'm not repeating myself again. Ah. I'm gonna go with one, uh, Satan's Little Helper. Right? Yeah, I really enjoyed that movie for what it was. Is that the one with the VHS that kind of looks like the mask, like Sam? Yeah. Is that what it was? Yeah, kind of. Okay. I, ca I just remember the, the cover. You gonna yeah. say Ice Cream Man? No. Okay. <laughs> you can. No. Marco? You don't even know uh, what we're talking about, do you? I'm kind of off of this, but can I at least substitute it with a scene that I thought was kind of funny? No, you can't. Uh, it's, in a, it's in a horror-type movie with those characters. Okay, go for it. So, in Freddy vs. Jason, the chick from Destiny's Child is looking at a magazine, looking to get a nose job. This is Freddy what pops out and says, got your nose, and it just made me chuckle. But for some reason, she woke up and didn't have her nose cut off, which kind of goes against all very dream logic in those movies. Now, so before I mean, there's something in that room I want you to go check and see. I hear it. It's making noises. Can you check that for me? Yeah. He's Let's trying see. to get you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't shit your pants whenever you get up. I promise nothing. I figured but, uh, as much. I hear, you know, I see it. I'm you gonna, see it over there? I'm going to get up. Okay. You see it, right? Gonna, Don't fall. I got gotcha. you. Hang on, guy. I'm coming. Anywho, now that we got fucking drunky drunkerton gone, um, <laughs> I guess one of my favorites that not people, not many people know about, um, at least I don't think they do, is uh, Peter Jackson's The Frighteners. Oh yeah. hell yeah! It's a great, great movie. movie. Yes. Um, I actually uh, name dropping a little bit more. Um, sat and talked to uh, Jake Beefsy for quite a while about uh, that movie as we were watching uh roddy piper do stand up at a hotel in 2012 and uh you know i loved jeffrey combs in that movie uh, michael j fox um d wallace everybody in that movie did a hell of a job arlie ermy mm -hmm. for god's sakes kind of uh, a long movie it is a long movie, but, but it's really good. It is really good. So if anybody uh, needs to check that movie out, absolutely. That's it's fun. It's not horribly scary. No, not there really. is a few thematic elements of it that do make it more in the horror genre, but for the most part, it's it's an overall it's a great movie. So 
that is my go-to. You? Cool. Uh, Nail Gun Massacre. <laughs> no. Awesome. I do have that over here somewhere. <laughs> really? No, I'm joking. Um, there was a movie I recently rewatched. I think it was on Shudder. Uh, it came out, of, I want to say like 2015, maybe. It's a like a found footage movie called uh, The Taking of Deborah Logan. Mm. And I haven't got to that one yet. I kind of forgot about how creepy that movie is. And like, I don't really get creeped out by movies too much but it's basically uh, this film crew follows a lady who's uh, going through early stages of uh, Alzheimer's and dementia so they they start following her to track her progress and they soon start to think that maybe it's not really you know a brain disease maybe something's taking her over but it's shot really well and uh, the acting is actually like really great and that's kind of something that bothers me about most found footage movies it's like if you're gonna make it found footage and it's it's supposed to feel more realistic so if the dialogue it sounds really rehearsed then it kind of kills it for me is that on netflix um, i know it used to be on netflix i don't know if it still is or not i don't know if it still is now i i know it's on shutter right or at least it was a couple weeks ago and i rewatched it but yeah taking of Dar uh, deborah logan definitely good marco yeah, really right. go and find that whatever he was looking for i think he might be in the potty Definitely. Marco! I was also going to... Uh, Definitely, dude. I don't know what you, what you got going on here. Hell yeah. I see what you got. What you, yeah, so I found some goodies over here I'm going to bring to the attention of the Speaking of the conversation. remakes. So, see, that uh, should have been your, your go-to. for. How life. about the blob? Hell yeah. Just mm -hmm. saying that... Uh, dude, you keep that eating, stuff, that, You keep eating, that's what it's going to be. You know what? <laughs> when you do the cardio, when you push up the weights... Dude, I do cardio You gotta worry night. about no blob. Just gotta <laughs> worry about her mom. I have a blob poster. Yeah, I do cardio apartment. every single night. I don't know what you're talking and about. You know what? Water sports don't count. <laughs> Pounding off doesn't count as cardio. So, so then you don't do it. Now yeah. that the blob has say, inspired I me, I can't believe we didn't get an honorable mention to one of the greatest horror people to work in the industry ever. That. Mr. Robert England. Well, we've, I did, talk, we've talked. I did about mention Nightmare on, uh, Street. Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> you were here. The very first question I said. Nightmare That's fine. <laughs> Fair enough, though. I mean, he did do a lot more. Than He's been drinking there. since uh, seven. This two, morning. two, two mornings Last ago. Last Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little thin. Yeah, you need to refill that flask. Just start taking yeah. it intravenously. Save, save yes. it some time. Yes, that is not here. <laughs> Try soaking a tampon. <laughs> this coming from the guy who got killed by a weed whacker. What about whacking? And Adam, the amazing zombie killer. Yeah. Which is another horror movie that you can check it out is. on. Is it on Amazon Prime? Uh, it's free on YouTube. Oh. There you go. You Not can check out a buddy on somewhere on my cousin's Facebook page called Unlisted Owner. Forgot who directed and made that, but he's a he's a cool guy. You, you know, we did plug a, a horror movie in probably about a month ago. Yeah. Man, it smells. So good. <laughs> yeah. What was it, Dick? Shark? I think there was another movie over there you needed to go find, but yeah, I, find <laughs> I think I hear it calling my name. Hey smell, on, Judy. It smells so horrible. Also, check out the Ghost of Johnson Woods. I was actually mentioning. Pro wrestlers versus zombies. No, oh, Lord. On Amazon. Did you watch that? Oh yeah, I have. It's so good, isn't it? Oh, it's spectacular. <laughs> oh. Is that your best Matt Hardy impression? Yeah. Okay. Since he enjoyed being in that movie so much. I'd rather probably. sit on Barb. Did you comic. watch? No. No, you didn't. Why not? I was told not to, like you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you My should fault. watch it. No, you should definitely watch it. Yeah. No. And all of you I should mean, definitely not watch it either. Honestly, um, it had a it's probably what killed Roddy cast, Piper. Consider him, you know, wrestlers because had like what Shane Douglas, Matt Hardy, uh, Piper was in it. Angle, Duggan. Yeah, I mean like Rebby. Yeah, Lord, yeah. you know, there's a there's a whole bunch of people. Wasn't in there. Piper in that? Yeah, Piper was in that. That's Piper's what, on the front cover. Yeah, man. That's Come what killed him. That's not <laughs> what killed him. <laughs> it's killing me. I haven't even seen the shit. <laughs> That's fine. Is there anything else we need to cover? No, I don't think so. I think we got a lot covered today. We did get a lot covered today. Yeah. Anywho, Marco, 
Hello. We're getting ready to we're getting ready to end this. Do you want to be on camera one last time? Yeah, yeah. I found the best horror movie of all time, man. Did you? I did. It's the greatest thing ever. I don't it think it is. It scares the hell out of me. Because what it? everywhere there are mean girls, man. They are everywhere. It's freaking oh, crazy. Oh, Christ on a cracker. It's a good thing, you know, you try to be nice with them, and the next thing you know, you're all in child support. In this horror video with mean girls. Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Maybe it's, less booze next scurry, time. scurry, scurry thing, man. Don't fall for those traps, those plastics that'll cost you cash. Anyway, yeah, I thought we wore a pink on Wednesdays. There's a penis fly. We were supposed to wear a pink on Wednesdays. What the hell did you got? <laughs> Next uh, week, Wednesday, we wear pink. Oh, yeah, we do? You got okay. a little bit of pink on your shirt. Yeah. That's red. I got that is red, dude. It's just it's faded. faded. Yeah, Which, well. Faded red. We never pink. even talked about Creep Show. That was a that's a great movie too. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll lot. have to talk about that a different time when we yeah. talk about anthologies. Exactly. Um, so I think we've pretty well covered a lot on, uh, on the horror genre and yeah, a lot of horrors, a lot of horrors, a lot of horrors. Stay away from the mean girls, man. I'm telling you. They're definite whores. whores. So, uh, Especially when they can't see straight. Yeah. Hit them with a bus. Who, man. <laughs> I, I, know where, I know where you're going with that. Yep. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> for this, for this episode. <laughs> Uh, Damn yeah. it! <laughs> I think that, that's pretty much the finish. For this episode of Stuff and Things, I've been JC Carnage. I've been El Director. I've been Blaine Black. I have been the wild man Marco Malone. Check us out next time. Stay away from the mean girls and the slant eyes, and we'll catch you on the flip side. God, hit the button. That was racist as fuck. <laughs>